Pat Fitzgerald joins me here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show, the head football coach of Northwestern. How are you, Coach? I'm great, Rich. It's always great to talk to a Wildcat. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I am doing great. You know, my I remember my uh, my graduating thesis for my television class at Northwestern University was I did a piece on Northwestern athletics and why it was so difficult to succeed there uh, because of, you know, it, it's in a major television market and it's got incredible academics. And if Duke was faring well and Stanford was faring uh, well, why not Northwestern? And um, and then a year later, we were on the Rose Bowl. <laughs> and it, I, it, I'd love for you to try and tell me what, what makes – Northwestern, uh, what's the challenge in, in a way at winning at Northwestern since you have won there, Pat? Well, you know, as a player, yeah, I, I think Coach Barnett probably took your thesis and used it as the blueprint to our. He may off, have. Huh? I interviewed him for it. I sat down and interviewed him for it. He basically said, "We're going to win here," and I'm like, "Okay, if you say so." And then he did with you, Pat. Well, I think for the same reasons why you can win at any academic school or why we're having success, it starts with I think having a vision and, and a plan, and, and and then going out and recruiting football players that, that value receiving a world-class education and love football. And there are plenty of guys around the country like that. And we, we're going to start in our recruiting here in Chicago, and uh, we've got about 26 different states on the roster. And so you got to go a little bit further from time to time. But it's a great group to work with, and you know, especially with who we're playing this weekend. You know, very similar programs and, and a ton of respect for the job that David Shaw and Stanford has done, and it's a great opportunity for our guys this weekend. Yeah, and in that regard, uh, Pat Fitzgerald, head coach of Northwestern football, joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. Is it fair to – look, every game is big, certainly in college football where there are fewer games. But is it fair to say this is bigger because uh, Stanford and you are in many ways recruiting the same athlete based on the academic uh, requirements to get into your schools, Coach? Well, we've got the, the best AD in, in the business of Jim Phillips, and when we sat down – a handful of years year ago, years ago, and really looked at our schedule and said, you know, what what are the kind of tenets on what we want to do non conference wise? So the first priority was, you know, playing academic comparables that we're going to go head to head on, not only in the fall but then in, in December, or January, in recruiting. And, and we've played, you know, from the East Coast to Boston College, and this year we're getting back at another series with Duke, uh, and we've played Syracuse, and uh, you know, last year Notre Dame and you know Cal in the past and now Stanford, uh, we've, we've had pretty darn good success in, in these comparable games. It's part of our blueprint to, to take, keep raising our program's profile and putting ourselves in position, quite frankly, when you play these types of games, that if you handle your business the right way, you put yourself in position to maybe potentially play for something special at the end of the year. Pat Fitzgerald joining me here at Coach Fitz 51, uh, Northwestern head football coach uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Which is the toughest position to get ready uh, for a season uh, on, on a college uh, situation where you don't have preseason games at all well, to get ready? Yeah, without, without a doubt, it's up front. You know, you, you work hard to try to put those guys in the trenches in competitive situations, uh, but not, nothing compares to what you're going to experience from a physical standpoint, uh, you know, on game day. And then your young guys, when you, you sit there and you coach them and you talk to them about, the speed of the game and the kicking game and how fast it's going to be, uh, that, I become a lot smarter than those young guys at about 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon when they go, wow, coach is right. <laughs> you know, just how fast the game's going to be for them. And tell me about your quarterback, Redford, redshirt fresh, uh, fresh freshman Clayton Thorson. Tell me about your, your young signal caller going into a game against Stanford, such a big game. Yeah, tal talented guy, Rich. We, we had a quarterback competition this camp, really all off season between Clayton uh, Matt Alvedi and, and Zach Oliver, and all three guys did a terrific job. And Clayton won the job. Uh, great family, local Chicago kid here from Wheat North High School uh, in the western suburbs. and uh, He's just an unflappable young guy. He's uh, unselfish. His junior year in high school, he split time with his best friend. He, he played quarterback some of the time and receiver. Well, his senior you know, classmate did the same thing. He's uh, he's a great teammate. and you know, With young guys, they're going to they're gonna play well and then make some mistakes, but he doesn't get too high and too, and too low. So I look forward to watching him uh, in this first game of the uh, Pat Fitzgerald, Northwestern head coach, joining me here on the program. A lot of talk about some programs using these cost of admission stipends to or cost of attendance stipends to um, uh, find players for off-the-field issues and things of that nature. 
Do you think that we could draw a line of the fact that these stipends exist to some of your players wanting to unionize? Can we draw that line that these things exist because of what happened uh, on your well, campus, Coach? Yeah, you know, I think from a standpoint of, of the change at the NCAA level, you know, I've been in meetings for a, a number of years and have heard of all of the changes that are happening now uh, in, in those discussions. But I'm, I'm proud of our guys for – you know, standing up trying to make a difference, uh, you know, in, in college athletics. I think they've learned some very valuable life lessons uh, through the experience. And, uh, you know, probably most importantly for this team right now, I'm just happy that they get to play football without a lot of distractions. It's been a lot on their shoulders, a lot on their plate. Uh, they've handled it incredibly well. I'm very proud of them. But looking forward to watching them play and compete uh, with, without having a lot, uh, a lot, a lot on their shoulders. Well, Pat, I appreciate you taking the time. I know it's busy. You've got a big game coming up this weekend against Coach Shaw and Stanford, and it's, uh, it's, it's one that I definitely will be watching. So good luck to you, okay? Thanks, Rich. I appreciate it, man, and I appreciate all that you do for football and all of our great Wildcat fans for Patrick Go Cats. Thanks. That, that means a lot. Thanks so much. That's at Coach, Fit, at Coach Fitz 51. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.